I'm working under Professor Tom Coyle, and my research group is called the Center for Advanced Coding Technologies, where all my colleagues are working on different coding techniques, including thermal spray, plasma spray, and cold spray. And my project specifically, we're working on um, aerosol deposition, which is a coding technique for making very high density ceramic layers under room temperature. So my main focus is trying to understand the fundamentals, how the bonding is formed in that process. I work under the supervision of professors Uwe Erb and Professor Yu. So in Professor Erb's group, we focus on physical metallurgy of nanomaterials. The focus of my research is trying to find ways to make nanomaterials more useful. When we want to use them in high performance applications, they tend to degrade. So one way to circumvent that is a new alloy design strategy known as high entropy alloys. So instead of a traditional alloy, which is made up of a single parent metal, instead we have five principal elements. So five elements in roughly equal proportion, creating a highly distorted matrix, which helps improve that thermal stability. But the one thing that's missing in that is a viable synthesis route. And that's where electrodeposition comes in, being a highly scalable and versatile technique that can currently be applied to industry, giving us an easy pathway to adopting these materials at a larger scale. I work under the supervision of Professor Mansour Barati for the Sustainable Materials Processing Research Lab. Our group focuses on looking at ways to lower carbon emissions for many energy intensive processes specific to uh, metal refining. My research focuses on producing emission free metallic iron from nickel tailings, a waste material, and then this metallic iron can be used for many other processes such as steel making or the refining of Nicole. I'm from Professor Zos Group, uh, the laboratory for extreme mechanics and additive manufacturing. And as the name is self-evident, one of our group focuses is metal additive manufacturing, also known as metal 3D printing. So metal 3D printing really enables something we call rapid prototyping uh, for complex geometries. So we believe it can at least partially revolutionize the manufacturing industry. And during the printing process, there are also uh, there is also a collection of very complex thermal physical phenomena taking place, which we believe are worth investigating in academia. Currently, I'm working on establishing a process structure property relationship paradigm for a type of steel called margin steel. So what I do is to change different parameters in the manufacturing process and see how it can influence the microstructure of the material. For instance, grain structure, grain morphology, uh, phase fraction, and see how those can ultimately impact uh, the mechanical performance of the materials. So in short, I want to change the process parameters we can play with to influence the mechanical properties of the materials. I am supervised by Professor Jane Howe and Professor Doug Perovic. I work in the in-situ and correlative microscopy group. My specific area of the research looks into the characterization of bentonite clay microstructure for nuclear waste containment. I work under the supervision of Professor Singh in the Computational Materials Engineering Lab. What that means is that we all work we're using computer simulations to model materials and predict their properties. I personally work with a new class of materials called non-layered 2D materials, which are different from your typical 2D materials because they have a lot of broken chemical bonds at their surface, which gives them a lot of interesting properties that I'm trying to understand better. I work with Professor Hani Nagib's lab. Our research focus includes development and fabrication of smart material and composites, which includes conjugated self-assembly of one-dimensional and two-dimensional materials, char characterization of material properties, as well as finding out the correlation between the morphological variations with these material properties. And finally, we also do a lot of simulation and numerical modeling to find out the mechanical properties and the electronic properties of different materials. As for myself, my research focuses exclusively on 3D printing, specifically how we can combine emerging 3D printing strategies with novel materials to expand the functionalities of the printed devices to move beyond that of the traditional mechanical components.